is acknowledging the, the amazing things in the body and looking to enhance or support that system, but they're not acknowledging the creator. And if you acknowledge the creator, you're then going to enter into the creator's immortality rather than the created beings trying to be immortal yeah. and try not to die. Which you could say, well, yes, that's the, the will of God. So God is not going to oppose things that lead us not to die, but it's only a transition ultimately into the fullness of that whole reality. Because there's a fullness to it uh, in a lot of things in in our lives. You know, there's more in God than just doing it ourselves. You know, and man has done amazing things, humanly speaking, with increases in technology and medical science and all that stuff. But it's also tied us to pharmaceuticals, which is about money. And keeping people sick so you have to sell them more drugs not curing them or making them whole you know pharmaceutical i mean pharmaceutical companies are there to make money and if everyone was well they would be out of business so they've got no incentive for immortality they just want to keep selling you the stuff so if we're going to rely on nanotechnology, well, who's going to service the nanotechnology? Who's going to make the money out of it? And are there going to be a continual cost? Do you have to take out a subscription for the rest of your life and you are not going to die for nanotechnology? Probably. Someone's going to, you're not going to give it away for free. That's the problem. Someone's making money out of the advances of technology that we have had. You know, and I'm not saying some pharmaceutical things like, you know, insulin or whatever, if someone's, you know, pancreas isn't working or whatever, that's a good thing to keep people alive. But when they could cure people and, and actually eradicate a most sickness and they're keeping it there because they have to, they rather sell you drugs to keep you from dying, but dependent on the drugs, they're very happy to keep selling you the drugs. Yeah, they, there's no incentive in the pharmaceutical industry for a cure. You know, they just want to keep selling you the drugs so you don't die. Then you can buy more drugs from them. You know, that's the thing. You know, ultimately, health would need pharmaceuticals to keep us in health or any other technology. But if they're developing it, then I'm not saying I would be against developing technology until people knew the truth of the state of immortality they can live in rather than extending life longevity is sort of extending life and that can be helping like you know a seer you know is a liquid which is designed to help the body communicate with itself to self-repair the mitochondria of the cells has the ability to tell the cells Repair me, replace me, remove me. You know, that's how it should communicate. Repair me, replace me, or remove me. But we, but seemingly that the cell's ability to do that diminishes over time. A seer can help restore that, as they claim. And I, you know, and I, I don't take it myself, but I have known people who do take it. And they're using it to bring about health and to fight cancer and other things. So the body can restore itself because it can communicate properly. You know, you don't want to keep cancer cells. So you want to remove them, but you do want to keep healthy cells and you do want to repair those that are damaged if you, if you can. You know, so there's, there's a whole different realm, range of communication of what should happen to that cell. You want the right thing happening to the cell. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.